longer looking hairdo today. Hello party people, I'm at Costco right now. I have been doing once a month trips to Costco, uh, but my last Costco trip, if you saw my grocery haul, I just bought a bunch of junk. <laughs> Honestly, we haven't even eaten through that, but we need some food, actual food to eat. So uh, I guess it's halfway through the month, maybe a little more than halfway. I don't know, I'm feeling good about it. Let's go inside. It's gonna be a shop with me and grocery haul because I assume they're not gonna have a ton of new things. I am on the lookout for a gardening bed that I saw on Instagram. Cheers. Let's go inside and see what they have. Okay. Well, up front they have nothing new and nothing is on sale. Just thought I'd share that with you. Oh my gosh, these are the times that I wish my family ate gluten. What? This is new. This is not. I've heard people rave about this. It's absolutely enormous. My hands are pretty big. Some people say I have man hands. Some people call them piano fingers. It's, you know, perspective is all I'm saying. I wish my kids ate gluten because then I'd buy this, but you know. Um, and then this one I can't because dairy, but shepherd's pie. This is the first time I've seen Costco with this, so this might be a new item. It looks like it's $3.50 a pound. Again, it's enormous. It's around $18 to $20, depending on uh, how big it is, how much filling is in there. And then of course, just in case you haven't seen my recent Costco shop with me's, here are the Easter dresses, adorable, $18. I like to get ours secondhand. Uh, and I literally spend like $3.50 on them. Uh, Once Upon a Child is amazing. Look, Pokemon cards. These are $30. I think maybe that's a different set. I don't know anything about Pokemon. Okay, if I read the sign correctly, these squash mallows are $32. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought they were like $10 last time I saw them. Uh, they do have some really cute ones, a unicorn. This one seems to be pretty popular. She's cute. There's one back there that there's no way I could reach it, but I'm pretty sure it's a dinosaur. My kids were raving about that last time I brought them to Costco with me. They were, I'm, I say raving, but I mean begging. <laughs> I was like, put it down, I'm buying you stuffed animal. Okay, wet mopping cloths for Swiffer. These are on sale for $12.69, normally $16.30. Uh, so if you use a Swiffer mop, uh, there you go. If you have a dog and need some front line, this is $60, normally 78. You know what, I said dog, but I'm pretty sure, yo, no, that's a dog, I thought it was a cat, okay. Oh, I love that kind of doggy. What is that, Cocker Spaniel? Oh, I love it. Oh yes, okay, cats too. Hello. Oh, a Dalmatian. Oh, I've always wanted a Dalmatian. Okay, fun's over. The power wash. I was kind of hoping they would have the free and clear. This is on sale until April 3rd. So the Dawn power wash, it comes with three, a spray wipe and rinse. Wait, no, it comes with, <laughs> what does it come with over here? Two refills and a dish spray. People rave about this, man. Eight bucks, did I say that? Eight dollars, normally 10. Hey oh, this is something new, $40 and you get a two, set of mango wood lanterns. These are um, gorgeous if you need them or want them in your front stoop, backyard. Oh, here's the box. Oh, they look so beautiful with a little candle in it. I feel like last time we saw a, a type of bevy bar, but I'm not sure we saw this one. It's uh, smaller than the last one that we saw. And this one is $100. Look at them all huddled around trying to scoop up their lemonade. Oh, here's what we saw and I thought it was a grill. Um, this one is $232 and it is a larger beverage cart. This is so beautiful, a copper garden hose pot. It is $66 if you're at the stage in your life where, oh look, the little bird handle where you are wanting to conceal your garden hose in something gorgeous. If not, you can get the Hose Mobile Elite. And the, oh, good lord, all, this is more expensive. You have to be elite to buy one of these. It is $120. Goodness gracious, that is a little extreme. Guess you can cart your hose all over Tarnation with that, which could be convenient. I'm passing by a lot of cool things, but I have shared them in my recent Shop With Me videos. They have more bathing suits. Ooh, more colors. Loving the colors on this one. These are, uh, it will know, $18 for the dresses, $20 for the bathing suits, 
and you guys know they always have an abundance of clothes out. You know what, I'm gonna come down here. Maybe the gardening beds are down here. If all else fails, I know I can buy some online. They have a garbage can for $80. Oh yes, they always have. Ooh, this is marked down. This is a vanity. It comes with the sinks, the countertop, and the cabinets, all for the low, low price of $700, normally nine. Ooh, a stainless steel workbench for 600, normally 700. You guys know I love my Cricut machine. This is the Cricut Maker Ultimate Smart Cutting Machine. It is here, I've never seen it at Costco before, $280. Maybe wait for a Costco sale because, you know, they happen a lot. Okay, this is also something I haven't seen before. It is a battery backup with surge protection, 439 minutes of runtime. You can power and protect all the things around your house. Is this like in case your power goes out and you can use this? I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know a lot about, well, anything. Oh my gosh. I'm truly shocked. I just looked behind me. Look what they have. Look, look at this. I feel like Tom Hanks. Look what I have created. You people, this is on sale. If you watched my latest clean with me, I'm crying. Really, I think I only spent 15 more dollars. Is this what I think it is? It's exactly what I think it is. Okay, I don't have the pet edition, but this is the Cross Wave. It's Bissell, and you can vacuum and wash your floors at the same time. I have been eyeing one of these for literally at least a year. Like it's been in my Amazon cart ready to go, but I keep putting it off because it is a high ticket item. Normally $260 here at Costco on Amazon, they can range, but this is easily one of my favorite purchases of the year, this and my laundry uh, string so I can hang laundry outside. You guys, it saves so much time. I don't have to sweep. I used to have to sweep and then mop, steam mop and then vacuum. And now I can do it all in one. It is truly incredible and it works. Oh my gosh, what is this? A rugged office chair mat. Oh, this is nice. So instead of having something fugly, the beauty of a rug, the function of a chair mat. Yeah, that is nice, $60 for that. You know how normally like they have a black one right there? That's $33, so you are paying more for beauty. <laughs> she's beauty and she's grace. Hey, we might see this set up, we might not, but it looks like Costco has, there, is that a better view for you? They always have these online, I think. I think, I don't quote me, but like look into it, you know? This is a really nice, uh, what is that called? A jungle gym play set? <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. This might have to be a standalone shop with me. I'm getting a little crazy here. I, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a craving or whatnot. Oh, you guys, is this a good Belgian waffle maker or are they trying to like tease me? It's $45. You know what I want? A really nice quality waffle maker. That'll make really like crunchy waffles on the outside. You guys know like waffle house style. Um, I bought nice ones in the past and they just weren't up to snuff. So I don't, you tell me how you feel about that one because I don't really know anything. Hey, oh, I just saw someone using this in a meal prep video. And you know what? In the video, it looked larger than the air fryer that I have. But in real life, I think they're all pretty much the same size. It is a seven quart. It's on sale for $40. It's normally 50. So if you've been eyeing it, now's the time to buy. Look at here. They've got a kitchen scale. It's on sale $15, normally $18, which I feel like is a good price because on Amazon, I got one for my nephew for Christmas. I think I spent over $20 on his kitchen scale. I recently started a, a sourdough starter and so many of the recipes needed like a kitchen. Obviously, I don't have a kitchen scale, so I just did what I did and it, whatever. <laughs> They also have these super cute little organizing jars. I don't see a price on these, I'll keep looking. And then the shelf organizer is $22 for four of them. Cleaning products always excite me, so I feel like they might be exciting for you too. $19 and you get six pieces. Ooh, I love this brand, Contigo. They have these new cups with spill-proof <laughs> spill tumbler. Do we believe it? You get three cups for $15, so I feel like that's a bargain. Uh, spill-proof, I feel like, take it with a grain of salt. <gasps> and then over here, I've actually been looking for a nice set of outdoor cups. 
because you don't want to bring glass outdoors or near a pool or water or anything if something breaks god forbid you get so you get 12 pieces for $19 i'm gonna wait on a sale because i know that those are gonna go on sale come summertime if you like margaritas uh there they have some glasses for you vacuum insulated tumblers a two-pack i love the print of these I don't love how they get banged up if you're not like super careful with them, which I'm not. $18 for two. Oh, and they come with straws, stainless steel straws. So that's really nice. You know, it's funny. I recently went to Home Goods in search of like some more, uh, you know, fruit containers that I can buy because mine are just breaking left and right. This is a four piece Pro Keeper Produce Keeper. Okay, redundant. $27, we get four pieces. Some of them are smaller, which is good if you buy like, you know, blueberries or whatever. So I think this is a good range of sizes. Oh, look at all that produce. I'm pretty hungry. Okay, well, I was gonna keep the book section to myself until I saw the Bridgerton book sets. I think the second season is coming out soon. Do you guys watch that? And then, uh, by the way, it's a little risque, okay? So keep the little eyes away. And then I saw this, a King Arthur, great brand, the all-purpose baking companion. All right, let's see what this is about. Oh, no pictures? Well, not enough pictures for me. Okay, that's, this is like an old school, I need pictures. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, sourdough waffles? Oh, I'm excited. Buttery sourdough biscuits. I need to get my sourdough starter ready. Drop cookies. All right, I've given you enough freebies. And then this Instant Pot. Oh, an Instant Pot miracle. The claims on here, I tell you. The things that people have to say these days to make a sale. <laughs> Come on down to Costco. It looks like they don't have the playground set up yet, but it, I found a price, pretty sure $1,400. Okay, outdoor sports season. If you need some core equipment, this is $40 for a sports bench. That's pretty cool, pretty sweet. Um, this bike looks real nice. Don't know the price. This chair, okay, today's the day. I'm gonna get in it. fun but it wasn't real fun that's 50 bucks it's almost summertime here they've got vests and water toys this is four hundred dollars i think you just get one inflatable stand-up paddle board yep cool and this is five hundred dollars and that's pretty cool kayak oh my word there it is cool beans these candles are 19 dollars. i'm not sure if we saw those last time but they're pretty Oh, I adore these water tables. $65 here at Costco. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much Amazon sells them for, but I have a smaller one and it was, I don't know, I got it on sale. You guys know they always have these muffins. They have double chocolate, they have blueberry. What's over here? Vanilla chocolate chunk. You can get two packs of these for $8. It's a screaming deal because if you go to a bakery, these are coffee cake, by the way. If you go to a bakery, one of these puppies is like eight bucks, right? <laughs> these perfect bars are in the refrigerated section. They're gluten-free, they're on sale. Normally $17.60, they're on sale for $12.40. Let's read all about it. Well, they both have dairy and that's all I pretty much read about it. <laughs> I actually need to order a cake for one of my nephews coming up here, but I'm gonna order like the big sheet cake they also have $8 for six of these Humongo carrot cakes. Another new food item, sticky toffee pudding. Well, that looks delicious, 14 bucks. They have a plethora of floral here. What is that, is that mint? No, absolutely not, it is a plant. But these are really pretty. They also have some really nice large arrangements too. They have azaleas. They have tomato plants and they have a really pretty baby's breath or willow. What is this called? Willow. That's beautiful. 
every summertime they bring this out cilantro lime crema and i never buy it but people rave about it i think today might be the day i don't know what i, I still don't know i don't know uh look what else they have though <laughs> buffalo style chicken dip oh what nine dollars for this buffalo style chicken dip that's a good price for how big that container is also found this premium Maine lobster spread it oh it's new and improved and it's ten dollars here it is. Last time I was looking all over for this. It's the Scrubby Daddy. Yeah, this is, yeah, because it only has one side. So what I have is a Scrubby Mommy. This comes with two Scrubby Daddies. It is $10. One single sponge, I want to say, is like six, right? And then it also comes with two soft scrubs with OxyClean. So that's a screaming deal. So you guys know the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse is my absolute jam. They also have lemon pepper and different flavors up there. But this is the first time I've seen wood fire garlic. Interesting. Okay, I made it home. It looks like I've, <laughs> I've been through some stuff. I haven't been through much. As a matter of fact, I haven't done anything at all other than grocery shop. I stopped at Publix on the way home, so I did grab a couple of things. But otherwise, it's mostly from Costco. I do plan on filming like a meal prep, well, I'll prep some of the veggies and fruits at the end of this video, hopefully. And then I do plan on filming, probably the next video you see will be a freezer meal prep. It'll be like breakfast, freezer, and then whatever the heck else I can pump out. So that will be next, but for now, let me show you everything that I got. So here is everything whoops forgot to take the stuff from Publix out of the bags I could not find my reusable grocery bags anywhere before I left the house so um yeah I'm gonna have to take those out but in due time first on my meal prep list is mashed potatoes and wouldn't you know it I didn't buy a single potato so that's cool all right, let's start over here. I grabbed a bunch of salads. I do plan on meal prepping some Cobb salads because for whatever reason, I've been really loving that. I don't know if it's the cheat, like, yep, I bought cheese, I bought carbs. This is like off limits. You guys know how I get when I'm pregnant. I just buy everything. This is clearly, if you can see <laughs> by all the colors, it is much better than my last grocery haul, which was full of sugar and cake and delicious things that surprisingly we haven't eaten all the way through yet. And some of the things I haven't even cracked open. All in good time, my friends. Okay, I grabbed some romaine lettuce because salads. I got some cilantro. I love, we love cilantro on basically everything, but mostly Mexican dishes, Indian dishes, uh, rice and beans and cilantro, just that is delicious. And that's super simple. And the only seasoning I add to that is salt and pepper. Like that's it. It's like I said, simple. I want to roast some green beans. So I grabbed a bag of green beans. I just throw these in the oven for 25 until they're nice and crispy to your liking. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I've also been really enjoying cucumbers and hummus almost every single day. The cucumber is nice and light and refreshing and the hummus gives me the fiber and nutrients <laughs> that I feel like my body is craving. So uh, yeah, these are the English cucumbers and they're seedless and they're my favorite. Oh my gosh, I grabbed some avocados, you guys. You guys know I love, oh, well, I don't love avocados, but my family does. So I usually buy it every time, but who am I? If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably like, Kim, who the heck are you? Cause I've been planting seeds. I planted zucchini seeds. And the other morning I woke up and just got in the mood. I took some seeds out of a lemon that I had. I took some seeds out of a star fruit. I took some seeds out of a couple mangoes and I planted them all. Nothing has sprouted yet. It's only been a few days, but I'll keep you guys updated. So I want to also um, try to grow some avocados as well. Cause in our last house, I was able to grow an avocado tree from seeds. Um, it never produced fruit, but uh, you know, that's a lot. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I grabbed a lot of onions. I need onions. I'm gonna make something called bra cartoffel. Probably butchered that. It's basically bacon, onions, and potatoes. Simple seasoning as well. Just some uh, salt and pepper. That's what I do anyway, and it is, oh my gosh, I'm like drooling, I can't wait to 
make it and eat it. I made it probably last weekend and it was so delicious. Um, same thing with the Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna roast them. It's a simple way. That's how we like to eat Brussels sprouts. I'll roast them and have them for, you know, with dinner one night or whatever. Um, okay, speaking of bacon, I was bringing this in. This is like the best pr price and best bacon. You get like two, um, I don't want to say loaves, whatever this is. Two, uh, what is in here? Total three pounds. So you get three pounds of bacon for whatever that price is. And I feel like it's great. And it's like great quality. It smells so dang good, you guys. Um, I also grabbed, what are these, cantaloupes. Always a treat. Hopefully they're good. Last time I bought a cantaloupe, it was not good. Had to throw it away. Same thing with watermelon. Ooh, watermelons. I have a bone to pick with them. I grabbed a lot of carrots. I want to make the bibimbap dish. I think that it's a Korean dish. It's so delicious. And I like to eat it with carrots and zucchini. So I just grabbed some nice big carrots. And then I got three containers of raspberries. These were an amazing price. And I bet they're in season because at Publix, when I went to Publix, they were buy one, get one free. Obviously, it was just like the little square. Uh, still a good price at Costco for what I paid. And then I grabbed some blueberries as well. And if you can see in here, well, you can't. I guess they got jumbled around. Some of them are still like really light purple which is how I like them. I like them nice and tart and crunchy. And strawberries are still in season. Oh, and it's a fantastic time. We did not get to the strawberry festival this year. I did, however, find the most amazing strawberry costume for Meredith. I didn't buy it for her, but I found one that fit her. And I was like, oh man, if we go, this would be amazing. But we never went because, you know, sickness and all that good stuff, morning sickness. Um, I grabbed some bananas here and fun story the last bundle of bananas we bought brought in a bunch of fruit flies so that was really annoying for us to get rid of those fruit flies if you've ever had fruit flies you know how resilient they are i grabbed a bunch of black berries <laughs> why is all i have to say is why um yeah these were a really good price too and avelina loves blackberries and then i grabbed some limes i want to make a marinade you guys know my favorite well first of all do lime with everything i love adding citrus to a dish it just elevates it to the next level you guys know that's how i live my life citrus herbs they elevate everything to the next level but specifically i want to make this one uh, marinade that i really like it's just honey lime and italian dressing i use the olive garden italian dressing and it is divine and it's super simple i do it with chicken i do it with chicken thighs because it's fantastic you can grill it i'm sure you could bake it i'm sure you could throw it on a stove top i don't know cook it however the heck you want but a rose by any other name is just as delicious. Am I right? I grabbed some kiwi. And the last time I got kiwi, I was looking over the nutrition facts. I guess this one doesn't have any nutrition facts on the paper like last time. But it said, oh gosh, what did it say? Oh, vitamin K. And I said, oh, it doesn't even say it. It has potassium. It is high in potassium. Um, vitamin K is potassium, Kim. So that was real fun for me to read all the comments telling me how dumb I was. So thank you so much <laughs> for allowing me to connect the dots. I'm only human. That's all I can say. I got some mangoes. Mongola. Mango cha cha cha. These are actually really hard. Oh, man, I don't know what it is with Costco. It's like their mangoes are never ready to eat. You have to like wait two weeks. So I guess I'm gonna have to wait two weeks to eat those, which is fine because we have all the other produce to eat, all the berries and stuff. Okay, I grabbed this. Costco used to sell this in like personal serving things, but now look, check it. They have the whole container. And I wasn't gonna buy this, but then I thought, you know, <laughs> On the days where all the kids are in school and Meredith is home, I sometimes don't know what to feed her for lunch. So I feel like maybe she'll eat that. It's Panera mac and cheese and it is it's pretty good. I don't know, I feel like it's really cheesy and really saucy. Did I say I got bananas? Yeah, I think so. And then I also grabbed some beef jerky. This is some good stuff. Avelina likes this in her lunches. And I grabbed some pulled pork. This is a fantastic, easy weeknight dinner. Just literally like eat it with your fingers. Like it's that good. You don't need anything else. I do have corn and some baked beans to serve this with. 
put it on a tortilla, put it on anything, I don't care. This was probably a pretty penny, probably not worth it, but I have been wanting Thai food, and this is curry. I just love curry. It's, it looks like a simple curry, and it looks actually really good, and that might be what we're eating for dinner tonight with some rice. Okay, couple of exciting things over here. So I grabbed this King Arthur all-purpose flour, and if you look, it is unbleached, and that's what you need to ha start a sourdough starter. I used bleach flour, and that didn't work out. You can use like a whole bunch of other flours. You just have to make sure it's unbleached, and I didn't have that, so there we go. Okay, and <laughs> when you know it, I got Willow, I actually, I think there's another name for this. I just thought it was so beautiful. It was pretty pricey, but I've been looking for something to put on that table right there. And I was looking at artificial flowers and I don't know, nothing really looked right. But I saw that and honestly, there was another woman and we were talking about them, thinking like, oh, how long are they gonna last before they die? And honestly, I think we kind of each talked each other into getting them and we just kind of, we're like, okay, well, good luck to you. So I'm gonna see how long I can keep these alive, but my Oma has these. I think she has fake ones, but they just look so pretty and simple so and springy, so I really liked them. Um, I grabbed a bunch of butter. I plan on making biscuits and gravy and, plus, and maybe like cookies. <laughs> what else can we make with butter? Um, everything. Butter makes everything better. I grabbed, oh, you know what I've been liking lately? Grilled cheese. And by liking, I mean I have not eaten one. <laughs> I just want one. So I got a ton of cheese for, you know, enough to last a lifetime. 44 deli-style cheese slices. I also like to eat this cheese, cut it up, and eat it with those sweet potato crackers that we have. Oh, they're so good. I did not see that at Costco today. I probably would have bought more if I saw them. Oh, did I show you we got some protein chewy bars? I get these for mostly Wentworth for his lunches and then when we have, um, you know, extra kids over, which happens literally almost every day, uh, you, you know, I can just shove that down their throat rather than them eating the Cascadian Farm ones that cost me an arm and a leg. Okay, I grabbed this and honestly, I don't know what kind of person I thought I was. Well, first I grabbed this uh, probiotic smoothie just for the kids in the morning, mostly Meredith and Wentworth because they wake up at the butt crack of dawn and I'm like, I, I can't even lift my head up. I'm so dizzy. I can't make them breakfast, you know, so this will hopefully be good enough for them. And then I grabbed this, which is, I've never bought this before, Chobani Flip. So apparently um, they have a couple of different flavors, s'mores, cookies and cream, strawberries and cream cheese, key lime crumble. Hopefully my kids eat the whole thing and not just like the crumbles of Oreo. <laughs> never had these before. I don't know what I was thinking. I just saw them and I thought that's new, let me get it. And we'll try it out. Okay, I also got this because my produce containers are just dropping like flies. They're just breaking all over Tarnation. And I figured I could, I've actually been on the lookout for some, which is ironic because right before I was on the lookout for some, I saw the containers that I love and have from Amazon that cost an arm and a leg. I saw them at, I don't know, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, one of those stores, and I didn't buy it. <laughs> So I was like, oh, even though mine's broken, it still pretty much functions. Well, it doesn't function anymore because it broke some more. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. Um, I ate a croissant on the way home. Hashtag no regrets. Hashtag I still have Nutella that I have not eaten at all in my pantry. So you better believe I'm gonna smear some Nutella on this croissant and call it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh my God, I'm like, I, I can't wait to eat that because it just reminds me of home. Like I grew up eating croissants and Nutella. Hey, speaking of really good bread, I don't know if this is good bread, but it's like really fluffy and uh, I don't know, non-nutritious. So I'm gonna make the grilled cheese with that. <laughs> and then I grabbed our favorite gluten-free bread for the kiddos. Um, oh, and then the already made bacon. This is just like a godsend when I'm ready to eat something but don't have time to cook up some bacon, you know what I mean? It's like pre-cooked, you throw it in the microwave for probably a minute and boom, you got bacon. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I got the crema lime, the cilantro lime cream. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. 
We'll figure it out though. Okay, moving over here. I grabbed two packets of chicken thighs. Costco has been out of chicken thighs for at least a month, maybe even two months. We've had a stockpile a little bit, um, mostly because we haven't been making a ton. So I grabbed two packages and they used to sell chicken thighs in the freezer section of my Costco, but they no longer do. So I don't know what that's all about. I also grabbed two containers of eggs. I plan on meal prepping like waffles and eggs, like egg bowls and you know, a bunch of stuff. So we'll, we'll see if any of that actually happens. Jalapeno lime. These chips looked really good. I don't like, look at them. I don't know, doesn't that look good? Wow, I'd eat it. <laughs> We're gonna see how they taste. I feel like I've had those before, whatever. Um, egg whites, I just like to pour some of this in when I crack the eggs and just add some more egg whites. I don't know, I feel like it's a good ratio. We used up all of our vinegar trying to get rid of our fruit flies. <laughs> so I grabbed some more vinegar. Let me empty these bags. Okay, I just remembered what I forgot from Publix. That's what happens when I don't make an extensive grocery list. I forgot cocoa aminos. Ugh. I think I have some and it'll probably be, probably be fine. I grabbed some sausage. They were out. Oh my gosh, it was just so dumb. Man, they were out of ground sausage, so I got hot. This is literally all they had left is the hot. They didn't have the Publix kind, they didn't have mild. And then I grabbed some country sausage for the biscuits and grava. I grabbed some buttermilk. That's buttermilk, just trust me, for the biscuits and gravy. Um, couple oranges. I plan on making a marinade. I don't know what else I need for the marinade, but I know I need oranges, so I grabbed them. And then some peppers. I figured I'd just cut them up and put them in a container with hummus or something just to switch it up in case I don't want cucumbers that day or whatever. Okay, over here I have classic hot dog buns. This is a gluten-free brand, so we're gonna try these out. We haven't tried this yet. We have tried gluten-free hot dog buns that were not good, but it wasn't this brand, so we're gonna try those out. And then I got some watermelon. Yes, I paid an arm and a leg for like a quarter of a watermelon. Actually, it's a little bigger than a quarter, well, is it? <laughs> I don't know. It's a nice size, bigger than the rest. Literally, the last watermelon I bought, it was bad. So I wasted all my money. So at least I know this one is good. It looks good anyway and will be eaten. So it will be worth it. And then we're hosting Easter and we host, you know, <laughs> I don't know, things all the time. We ran out of party cups. So I grabbed some party cups and I like that they come in a bunch of different colors. You see like purple, gold, blue, pink. I thought those were fun. Okay, time to food prep, ingredient prep. I don't know, let's cut some fruit up and uh, make sure our kids eat it before it goes bad, right? That's the goal. By the way, I got a new mic, so I'm adjusting the settings as I'm doing this voiceover. So hopefully I can, uh, since it's my first time using it, I can figure out if it sounds good or not. Uh, by the way, this is a new day. So uh, if you're judging me by my outfit, uh, don't. <laughs> I just threw this on, it's comfortable and feels good and I couldn't care less. I know it looks ridiculous with the bike shorts underneath, but this is how, I live my life. This is my mom look. Okay, what do they call that? A mom form? No, they have a better word than that. I, uh, nah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the cool kids call it. I'm not a cool kid. Okay, so I'm finally cutting up some fruit. Oh my gosh. And I, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to finish the voiceover and play some music, but I did want to interject and explain a couple of things. It has nothing to do with watermelon, but it has to do with the cantaloupe, which, okay, question for you. Can I save the seedless watermelon seeds, those white seeds, to plant them in my future garden? Like, I'll, I'm making seedlings right now with the seeds that I'm planting all around. I saved some cantaloupe seeds that you'll see in just a second when I start cutting up the cantaloupe. I had a moment where I was tossing all the seeds into the garbage, and then I thought, Oh my gosh, no, you need to go back and, you know, gather some of those seeds. So I'm going to see what I have to do to grow these. I know for the majority of seeds, you just throw them in some dirt and germinate them for a few days until they start sprouting. So yeah, hopefully we'll have some cantaloupe in a few months. Won't that be fun? I know I also have to look into like if the cantaloupe is from a certain country 
Uh, sometimes it goes through radiation and then the seeds are no good. Like you can't plant them. They won't, they'll grow a plant, but they won't produce any fruit. Anyway, that's just from my uh, extensive research on Google. That's actually something I learned years ago uh, when I was trying to like grow a bunch of seeds. I, you know what? I did a pretty good job. I'll say that. Okay, let me throw on some music so you can jam out to some royalty free jams while I cut up some fruit. Or I could keep talking. You know? Okay. <laughs> you hit you up i'm on the other side i miss you miss you take you off i came your way to strong cannot keep it low key got me drugged your pheromones hit the roof auto your taste it's really a bad reception out there where are you heading why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me i've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love was Lost You by Tape Machines. Um, Ryan Seacrest. And this is America's Top 40. <laughs> I feel like that's a Top 40 song. That's more of a trendy song. I typically don't do a bunch of trendy songs, but you know, you gotta switch it up sometimes. Hey, talking th about those strawberries, I bet some of you were like, you're cutting off too much. The inside of it, like if, I, if ever I was cutting down the middle or whatever, Trust me, I try to save as much strawberries um, as I can. Try to salvage as much of it. Some of them are just bad. But if you think, I bought three cartons and I really only tossed maybe a handful, like five strawberries, you know? Um, so yeah, I call that a win. Now I'm cutting up some kiwi. Okay, I was watching Natalie Bennett the other day and she was cutting up kiwi and she kept her dang skin on the kiwis. So I've got another question for you. Do you keep your skin on your kiwi when you eat it? I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I know it's like, that's where the nutrients are. And it's like peeling an apple. Some people peel their apples. I eat the skin of apples. Some people eat the skin of mangoes. Okay, I'm not at that level yet. Maybe champagne mangoes have like a thinner skin, but I know some people who eat the skin of like normal mangoes, okay? Uh, yeah, I... I I'm not in the business of eating the skin of kiwis. It might be the texture for me. 
I, <laughs> I didn't eat bananas. I'm choking on my own spit. I didn't eat bananas for the longest time because of the texture. So, you know, you live, you learn. Maybe one day I'll eat the skin of a kiwi, but that day is not today, my friend. I was just so surprised when she, she was cutting them for her kids. I was like, your kids eat the skins? I don't think my kids are that adventurous. <laughs> I could try, though, because sometimes my kids surprise me. The first time they had a kiwi, I was surprised that they ate it and loved it and asked for more. And, that you know, that was years ago. So always have your kid. Oh, you got to try new foods because they might be good. Always share new foods with your kids. You, They might surprise you. You never know what their palate is like, what they're going to like. There are some foods that I don't like have in the house a lot because I don't like them. I don't cook with them, whatever. And they'll go to a friend's house and they'll ask me to buy it. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even think that you liked it because I never gave them the chance. <laughs> okay, you just got to give them the chance sometimes. Uh, but also I feel like when my kid is at someone else's house or vice versa, when kids are at our house, they're more likely to try different things. I don't know what it is about that. Okay, but it happens. And there's there it is. The literal fruit of my labors. Okay, that is it. Ooh, I need to sit down. I haven't even food prepped yet. I hope I got to some of that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the food that my family will be eating. <laughs> it's always so weird. Uh, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you did, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.